He thinks he can come in here and steal the spot as the MC? Just because I only got a movie? Like I didn't boss Ghetto? Nah, nah. It ain't gonna go that way. I'll kill Yuji Itadori myself. We're really on the last episode of JJK, man. This is crazy. The season flew by. 23 weeks, just like that. And I know some of y'all might be disappointed because it didn't end with any flashy fights like JJK's known for. But instead, we got some mean plot development. I'm interested. The episode begins where we left off last time with a standoff between Ghetto and Yuki, the special gray sorcerer. I know she don't really mess with Jujutsu society, but... You just now pulling up? Half the cast is in a body bag. <laughs> and you just now want to pull up in the last episode. Okay. He has a clash of ideals with Ghetto. She wants to free humanity from cursed energy. Ghetto wants to optimize cursed energy. Naruto, wakara. Yeah, I'm gonna be honest, me either, Itadori, but let's just continue. Yuki explains that since extremely few sorcerers appear outside of Japan, pretty much only people in their country will become sorcerers causing Japan to have a monopoly of cursed energy. In other countries, like the United States greedy ass, they ain't gonna stand for that. Nope. But Ghetto doesn't care about all that mumbo jumbo. He isn't trying to create peace. He has one thing in mind. Chaos that's out of his control. This nigga is crazy. He uses Mahito's idol transfiguration to cast a barrier that stretches across Japan. Thanking Yuji because if he didn't cause Mahito to reach his peak, it wouldn't have been possible. We also find out that after he swallows a cursed spirit, oh, they can't evolve anymore. He was hoping to do the same with Jogo, but we all know how that went. Then we finally get to learn a little bit more about what he's been cooking up behind the scenes. He activated idol transfiguration on two types of non-sorcerers. One, people who absorb cursed objects like Itadori, and two, people like Junpei who have cursed techniques, but their brains were constructed like non-sorcerers. And we also find out that one of those people is Megami's sister from season one! Ha! The plot has thickened. Essentially, he created a bunch of Yuji-like vessels, some with sorcerers from the past, while also letting the others have access to those cursed techniques. And he plans to have them fight to the death in order to deepen their understanding of cursed energy. The Culling Game. Ah, ah, he said it! He said it! Yuki's had enough of his chit chat, she's trying to beat his ass! But Yuji can't move yet, until Yurame releases his cursed technique. Sensation. It turns out Chosa was able to poison him with his piercing blood. Mm. Now everybody's free and ready for the smoke, except Kusakabe. <laughs> Look at his ass, he is chilling. He wants to go home bad. Come on now, dawg. Come on, man. But before they could move, Ghetto releases hundreds of cursed spirits. Oh, hell, oh, hell nah. Is that Slenderman? Some of them look like dinosaurs. One of them over there looks like he's got a samurai hat on. Fuck no baby. Man, this is some bullshit. I knew I should have put my two weeks in. Now. Fuck this. I'm getting a new job. I'm gonna go work at Subway. Or even McDonald's. Anything but this. Before Ghetto leaves off into the darkness, he tells Yuji he has high expectations for it. Hmm, I wonder why. Trust me on this one. You don't want to know. Audrey, don't tell him. You shouldn't have told me, but you did. And now I'm telling you, you don't want to know. We start seeing the reaction of Shibuya across Japan. We got this old dude with the cute cat and the Super Bowl head. I would slap the hell out of his head. I'm not going to lie. Hit his ass with the Michael, Michael Jordan. Jordan. We got these niggas in the office stressing, stressing. I mean, look at bro. He got his <laughs> he got his hand on his head. He probably hasn't paid his taxes. And now this? <laughs> Some bullshit. And look at her in the back judging his ass. <laughs> she like, is you good, nigga? This random ass baby. I know you just do, dude. And I know it stinks. That shit stink, don't it? Ugh. We also learned Ghetto actually released 10 million cursed spirits. He's causing a nationwide outbreak. They also tell us that they're going to go public with the existence of cursed spirits, which is insane. The JJK world has changed forever. It's kind of hard not to with a gaping hole in Shibuya. Well, let's be nice. Yeah. Let's be nice. We don't have to go there. <laughs> I mean, you're not wrong, but you didn't have to say it. I mean... <laughs> Then the scene pans over to this little girl who's straight up busting down some food. What's that, a little bit of rice? 
a little bit of seaweed, uh, maybe a little bit of chicken. Okay, good eats. While she's out here munching it now, she hears a voice. Little nigga. Uh, huh? Come over here. I got games on my phone. Is this nigga serious? Come on, nigga. Clash of Clans, Candy Rush. I've even got TikTok. TikTok? You trying to go viral? We can go viral, all right. Huh? <laughs> uh, are you good, my nigga? Do you need a water or something? Yes, that's why I'm talking like that up parched. You can't forget the bath, never, never. I say less than. I don't need no water, but I sure do need a meal. <laughs> this poor little girl is about to get turned into a whole five-course meal. That is until... From the heavens comes in a goat! He's finally back from Africa with the same smile as he left. Let's go! You touch here, baby! Ah! Ah! <laughs> but when we find out why the vibe changes, he meets with the higher-ups who brought him in for a clear reason. The execution of Yuji Itadori. No, not my nigga Yuji, bro. You say ain't gonna fuck with that idea, right? Right? He thinks he can come in here and steal the spot as the MC? Just because I only got a movie? Like I didn't box Ghetto? Nah, nah. It ain't gonna go that way. I'll kill Yuji Itadori myself. No! No! This can't be happening! No! But hold up, hold up, hold up. Why they do my man Inimaki like this? What the hell? <laughs> they had him looking goofy as hell. Told that five things have happened in result of Shibuya. One, it has been confirmed that Suguru Ghetto is still alive, and his death penalty is hereby reinstated. Two, Gojo is listed as a co-conspirator in the Shibuya incident. He will be permanently expelled from the realm of sorcery. Unsealing him will be considered a criminal act. 3. Principal Yaga instigated Gojo and Ghetto in the Shibuya incident and is therefore sentenced to death? I'm like, what do you say fuck me for? Now 4. The suspended execution of Yuji Tadori is cancelled and shall be carried out promptly. And 5. Special grade sorcerer Yuta Akotsu will serve as Yuji's execution. So basically, everything is fucked. But none of that matters to Itadori right now. He's got some new scars, some new drip, and the same mentality to kill curses until he dies. Y'all see they got the new new, the sexy Gojo? I mean the clean ass Sakuna tee. They even got this dark and ominous but clean Itadori shirt. And for those of y'all that like wearing rings or even necklaces, they got y'all right too. You can find all this and more at AnimeExpress.store and when you check out, use code za 10 for 10% off. I-E, U-E, it's a win-win. Now go to AnimeExpress.store and use code za 10 for 10% off at checkout. Now let's get back to the video. Okay, this like one to two minute portion is going to be straight spoiler talk. So if you don't want to get spoiled, I suggest you click off right now. But man, Yuta versus Yuji, the entrance of Nahoya, Maki's Ascendance, Higuruma, Kashimo, Hakari. Next season is going to be insane. And that's not even to mention Sukuna coming back and taking Megumi's body. When it's said and done, I think the calling game is going to be better than Shibuya. But I got one question. Where do you guys think they're going to end next season? With Gojo's return? With Sakuna taking over Megami's body? I'm not sure where they're going to end it. I'm curious what y'all think. And let me know if y'all mess with a Cullen game video where I go more in depth with my thoughts about it. But thank y'all for messing with me through this entire season, man. I got like two more videos coming out. And then you already know we're getting into some new content. If y'all don't mess with that, hey, I'm going to catch y'all in season three. But I'm out. Peace. Smuggin' in my tank, yeah Slimin' in my tank, yeah Off the shrooms, I see clear Sippin' lean, I don't sip no bill I don't pop no more perks, I don't clear But I'm poppin' it perk for the one time Smuggin' this hoe, but I only do one time